YouTubers. So, uh, Jackpot Digger for another uh, scrap of videos. Uh, I just wanted to make you jealous a bit. In July, the price went high a bit again. So, right now we are at 220 for a mix. 215, but my other yard gave me 220. 215 for ton, but 235 for iron or bushling, whatever you call it. But uh, so price is high. It's almost like 10, 15, uh, 10 cents for 100. Anyway, I did the maths. It's 10 cents a pound, something like that. So that's it. Today I have a next a special delivery. I'm really excited about that. It's really cost me a lot. Uh, wire stripper uh, paid 178 uh, plus tax, uh, and I even had a surprise when I received it uh, for uh, border tax. So it cost me 200 dollars. So I'm really expecting to that. I'm gonna have fun with it. A bunch of uh, Romex, uh, whatever you call it, but wire that is good for stripping. Uh, I need to go bring that. It's getting a bit afraid uh, of robbery because right now there's quite a lot of cash over there. Just only with the rats, there's probably uh, 50 bucks at least. All my motors, transpose, copper. So I'm gonna make a video on bringing those. I have lots of aluminum over there too. So I'm just uh, packing up my non-ferrous stuff right now to make it worth it. So uh, let's unpack this beauty and have fun with it. I'm gonna uh, prospect it a little, a little bit. So. since I just did one one little trip okay so I took the I put the handle on it just to try it like this so this is what it looked like so there's a hole but I don't know if you're able to see it but uh, there's a blade it squeeze over there and you adjust it with that easy handle you can lock it down so keep hands away clear uh, but uh, let's let's just put it Beam, bada boom. So for now it's working great. That's my first test. I did it twice, no pain in the ass at all. But the reason why I bought that one is because mainly drill. So I'm gonna take it a, a few minutes just to put it right directly on my bench uh, put my drill on 
and we're gonna pass through that shit today. So right now I'm really really happy. It's gonna go. All right, so I'm not a hundred percent satisfied about my machine that played with it a bit, passed through a few cups, but uh, it, it doesn't pass through like the big gains, uh, the big cover of it. Uh, I was hoping that just enlarging it the the the, the 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 little piece and it would just cut on it, but just because of the my my drill is not able to cover it, so I have a, a Makita drill. You already saw that one. I found it in the garbage. It's okay, but last time it was so much uh, uh, hard that it was coming to fume a bit. There was some smoke getting out, so I just slack it a bit over here. It's too rough for him. So. Uh, so uh, you really need to, to get ready your wire for it. So I, I have to take all the cover of it off. But that's not really a problem because I have a little trick that maybe I didn't saw on YouTube. But you just take your cutter. You could go all the way down. But me, I love getting the ground up and just pulling on it. Sometimes like that one was twisted, so you have to make a turn like this, and you have bright copper, that's the ground. So after that, you just untwisted it. And now it's ready for the next one. I'm gonna make a, a slide it in. There we go. And it splits up. The adjustment over here for different type of wire because this is like a 14 gauge if I'm not wrong but I strips uh, smaller and bigger ones too at the same time but that one is a bit thicker so just need to slack it a bit like that and it should be okay. percent satisfied because I was hoping that it could pass through those one but it's not that hard to do it's just the pain down so Let's 
it. So yeah, uh, I tried that. It went, it went great. I'm quite used to it, so you'll see it's working in good condition. I passed through all those. This is garbage, it's all empty. Uh, so I filled up a five gallon bucket. Quite happy, still have a few over there. But it went uh, went quite great. I'm, still, uh, I'm gonna try later on. I'm gonna make a nice clean up, get rid of those. And I'm gonna try later on to use uh, dryer and oven plugs. You know those one. Those are pa quite a pain, just with a, an exacto. So um, I'm gonna try with the machine later on. Maybe gonna make a short video with them. So in two hours, I fill up five gallons. But yet, uh, it's not that heavy. Maybe fifteen pound it's not compacted so I could uh, I could go on it and fill it up more uh, so worth it hopefully I'm gonna pay that machine with all those in one shot probably so that's it that's all and scrap till you die that's my little setup a few plugs that I already done I know that you guys most of all don't get paid for plugs but me, I just got like uh, I got paid for plugs if I kept it under the wires. So, so I left like uh, three inch, three inch and a half, something like that on each of them, and I throw them on my wire pile. So, uh, since I do that, I didn't ask for permission. Uh, if I got cut, I said they there's still wire inside those, so they're pretty much more wire inside one of them than most of wires at the end so I get 90 cents pounds for that so my machine's going well my setup's great right now I'm on my couch listening to TV I made few few <laughs> let's say so but it's passing great seriously I have no problem right now I'm getting used to it so that's what I do while I'm looking at TV. Almost empty. Got a few more. But, uh, getting well. Bust open the walls just to get the wire in. Took the hot water tank and left over appliances. Aluminum siding and had to come back. Cause the furnace so big it wouldn't fit in the back. Now it's copper by the pound, wired by the inch. Got a check on the first and it's gone by the fifth. Scrap a die, nigga.